it looks like heavy weather's on the way. A faster spreading variant of COVID at large in the UK with just a few weeks till Christmas. So, Ravi, what you Will Omicron be worse than what's come before? Omicron. That depends on tests being done in labs like this one. I think it'll have a bit of both. It'll have some immune evasion and, and some enhanced infectivity that give it an overall edge. Uh, but as I was saying, you know, we're hoping that that does not translate to more severe disease. Understanding what's giving Omicron its edge will be key to informing how we respond. Booster jabs could be all we need to keep people out of hospital. But if it spreads as fast as early data suggests, should we be acting faster? Good enough overview. Would you agree? With far more immunised than in previous waves, it's a tough call. The way we do. What we can absolutely see with, with near certainty now is that, that Omicron is, is more transmissible and is going to become the dominant virus in the UK. We know the impact that another lost Christmas would have on people. And, and, and so it's a really difficult policy decision. From a scientific perspective, I would certainly start to like to see things like uh, a work from home edict for the next few weeks or months um, and, and maybe a reintroduction of some social distancing and, and for example, workplaces and so on. For the time being, all eyes will be on the data from labs like this one in Cambridge. These machines at the Sanger Institute are doing about 90% of all our surveillance for COVID variants. It takes about four days from a positive sample coming in to its entire genome being unravelled and the results uploaded. At the moment, they're seeing just a fraction of a percentage of cases belonging to the Omicron variant. But the way things are going, it could quite soon be the only new variant they see. The UK's network of gene sequencing labs are scrutinising 60,000 COVID cases a week, more than nearly anyone else in the world. It's an advantage, but a limited one. What is becoming abundantly clear now is that this is a global problem. You know, we can't leave vaccination in one country neglected. We can't leave genomic surveillance in one country neglected. I think it just really reinforces the fact that we've got to be more equitable with resources, both scientifically for surveillance, but also for the access to the vaccines. The pandemic has taught us all how to keep our distance to slow COVID spread. The lesson we're still learning is how to work together to stop it once and for all. Tom Clark, Sky News, Cambridge.